Hello, pick pickers and sheep punchers. This is Jur Duty Summons. I had a challenge by uh, Mari Bakuman, and I am totally sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. I think Mari Bakuman. It's about as about as good as I can do. I'm not good with names, but I think I got pretty close. Anyway, uh, he challenged me to make a combo lock smaller than the one he had come up with, and I have done it. As you can see here, it's a three switch combo lock, so it's not super uh super secure in an absolute sense um but it's it, it's uh, pretty good if you want to make a you know medium to easy to solve puzzle in a adventure map or something like that uh anyway this is how it works um let's jump up here so you can see it so you got three pistons each each uh lever will activate a particular piston and each piston is pushing a single block that will end up breaking a, a redstone connection. So you can see that connection right there works because there's nothing above it. But as soon as it tries to go through there, this block breaks that connection. And as soon as that block is retracted, let's do that right now. Ta-da, the connection is working now. And you got a little door over there just to make sure to show how it works. <laughs> all right, so having them all up is not a very good combo. So there's one way you can do it. So say you want these to be downs instead of ups, so let's do that. So you can just drop a redstone torch. And because the way we have it set up, the redstone torch will only affect its row of pistons. So it still works properly. So let's see here, the door's closed. Let's flip these two pistons and the door's open now. So there we go. That's the uh, smaller one. Um, it's smaller in area, definitely. It is, I think it's seven. I think it's seven in length and two in height, so it's it's uh, a bit longer, but in it's it but it's half the height, and it's also in absolute sense a lot less volume um, than the one because you can get them a lot closer together. Um, the ones the one downside of this is a little bit tougher to extend this further, um, but it's not too bad. I'll, I'll show you. I'll pause it right here and I'll show you how to extend it past uh, past just one set of three. All right, I'm back. Um, sorry for the rain. I didn't really plan on that happening, but I don't have any uh, add-ons to control the weather, so it is what it is. All right, I'll show you what I did. I essentially mirrored the exact same setup, so the sticky pistons with these uh, with extensions, um, and to connect them, I just used a repeater, and so it, it works the same both sides. Um, so the only wasted the only wasted space between uh, it in six combos is just one row. Everything else is very compact. And so just a single one in the wrong position will cause the whole thing cause the door to uh, to be locked. So there you go, locked. So locked. Yep. So just one switch in the wrong position locks it, and that's the that's the essence of a combo lock. Uh, if anybody has any questions, let me know. But I, uh, I think this is a pretty good design. It's really compact. I haven't seen anybody quite do it this way before either. But it's it wouldn't surprise me if someone has. All right, have a nice day, everybody.